Good afternoon. Students at One New Mexico High School say kids are going hungry because of the mess they're faced with at lunch. Just one week into school, they've started a petition saying there isn't enough food or time for them to get a proper meal. News 13's Elena Mendoza has the story from Hobbs. Overcrowded and underprepared. It's way too many people in every single line. Um, I've had to bring my lunch every day. I didn't get to eat at all the first two days. Students we spoke to at Hobbs High School say they don't have enough time to buy and eat their food. Others saying the vendors run out of food and turn them away. But all agree the cafeteria is maddening and a new process of scanning IDs is slowing down the lines. We're trying to come and learn and come to eat and we need glucose in our brain to function. Each lunch period is 30 minutes, three periods to serve 2,600 kids. One student, Leah Molina, says it's so bad she started an online petition to try and catch the administration's attention. Waiting in line and waiting in line, and instead of them saying, like, we're all out, you know, yelling, we're all out, that when you get to the front of the line, they're like, oh, sorry, we're all out, and you got to go back to class. The petition is asking for off campus lunch to free up the lines, but Molina says she's not set on that as a solution. She thinks extending lunch to 40 minutes would be another ideal option. Not every kid has the, is fortunate enough to get fed at home, which is sad but true. Someone had to bring it to light. There, there needs to be change. I believe that it's an unnecessary risk and you, you can put students in, in harm's way by just completely opening up campus like that. Principal Zeke Caney says in the five years he's been with Hobbs High, students have been given 30 minutes for lunch. We do have a new setup. Our lunch lines are in a different location this year. So yeah, I would definitely say we had, we had a bit of a learning curve the first couple days of school. He also says he's noticed most of the kids choose to go to the same line, and the cafeteria has never run out of food completely, just a particular line for that lunch period. Our cafeteria workers and our students, are they're, they're learning that process, and they're getting better at it. In Hobbs, Elena Mendoza, KRQE News 13. Students would also like to have the option of getting lunch delivered. The online petition has already garnered more than 2,000 signatures. The worry has even reached parents. The issue was brought up at last night's school board meeting.